Hey you guys, welcome to the one coin only arcade challenge and as always we're going to be taking a classic arcade game and we're going to see how long we can last off one coin or uh, one credit if you will and one of the most rewarding things I do here at one coin only is uh, find a game that I've never played before and just figuring out as I play it's an absolute gem and we've got one of those here, this is Surprise Attack by Konami and it came out in 1990 and I'd never seen this game growing up, never saw it in the arcades, played it literally for the first time today and this is a lot of fun and it's just one of the, the fun rewarding things about what I do here is just coming across great games I've never heard of and just still getting surprised every day and uh, this game reminds me a lot of uh, games you would have heard of like uh, Rolling Thunder, Shinobi, Eastwatch so to be fair it isn't anything original, you've sort of seen it all before but it's got a really futuristic space setting and the game plays incredibly well. So you play this mercenary here and uh, you've got to foil uh, the plans of all these space terrorists and uh, you've got to defuse bombs in the process before the time runs out and then exit the level and continue on. You get to collect all sorts of power-ups and weapons as we go along. I haven't experimented with them all yet but uh, the combat really really packs a punch and is fun to uh, execute in this and you've just got the two basic buttons. You've got a jump button and a shoot button. <coughs> Excuse me there, and uh, yeah, as I said, it's all about shooting these enemies, doing some, uh, I mean, the platforming elements are pretty uh, subtle in this game, but there's a lot of timing and skill involved uh, still in order to avoid enemies and not get caught in crossfire, so, uh, I mean, the platforming elements in this game are definitely a part of it still, and geez, what's happening here, I'm laying the smack down with some kind of spell, let's wait for this gate to open, yeah, so it's just a lot of fast-paced combat and there's a lot of defusing bombs and the game, I really like the pacing of this game, I guess my point is. It just plays really, really quick, the levels uh, waste no time, they don't drag on and uh, you finish one after the other pretty quickly and uh, it's the difficulty in this game, considering it's a Konami game too, uh, doesn't feel cheap. It's, it feels like it uh, picks up and increases at an organic pace. And you get a decent amount of playtime off one credit too, which is a nice surprise for a Konami game as well. And uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not not having a, I'm not bearing Konami or anything, but I mean, we all know that their games are incredibly difficult the best of times, let's face it. And uh, while this one is, you at least get your money's worth before you get to that point. As you can see, I lost a life there, but again, I lost a life because I did something stupid. And uh... The graphics aren't bad for a Konami game, as you can see, even though it's sort of a linear platforming experience, it gives you that sort of uh, illusion that it's not, because you can jump between different parts in the background as well, which is a nice touch. I mean, you could do that, I think, in, uh, was it uh, Shadow Dance or something? I don't know, you probably know a few games like this that you could do that in, and maybe if I shut up a little bit, I'd actually get further in this level, hey, but no, we're going okay. And uh, you've got to be careful not to touch the enemies, because I think if they just touch you, you die. So it's not like those games where you can actually bump into them, I think. Because uh, I know a couple times when I've bumped into these guys, they've pulled out a knife, and it's been very, very bad. And, uh, you can see I'm... I am getting a little bit confused between uh, the background and the foreground, if that makes sense. So, uh, it kind of does blend in together a little bit, but I'm only doing a slight next hit there. And I uh, will jump in the background again. <coughs> you do have, you, you can't avoid it, you do have to jump between both because there's uh, bombs in the background and bombs in the foreground. Soundtrack in this game is really, really good. And uh, so is blowing up and dying, said no one ever. But guys, this is a surprise attack by Konami. Recommend you play it if you like, uh, recommend you play it rather if you like games like eSWAT and uh, Shinobi, things like that. And as always, guys, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, support us on Patreon. We'll see you next time.